Hello and welcome to Front Step Forge. Today I'm uh, working on a hammer. This is a much loved hammer of mine. It's the one that's in my hand first thing most days. And although I occasionally apply a little bit of tongue oil on here to keep everything uh, the right size, it's started to slip and it's just started to slip ever so slightly. I don't want to replace the whole handle. Despite it's well worn, it fits my hand perfectly and there's nothing wrong with the uh, wood in its condition but I'm gonna cut open that wedge slot and add a new wedge to it. But first I'm gonna remove it from the handle. And the way that I do that is make a simple little mild steel tool that's roughly the same size as the hammer handle material. And then with some smooth blows over the surface of the whole thing, I'll drive the handle from it. So the hammer handle's still in good shape. It just has shrunk enough that I'm gonna cut through with a handsaw to the bottom of my wedge slot and put a new one in. There are a lot of nearly new right-handed gloves in the shop. So I'm gonna use that to protect the wood while I work on it in the vise. Could probably get away with just clamping it, but I don't wanna put any fractures into the wood that may come back to haunt me later. So how did I arrive at my depth? I took the width of my hammer face and made my hammer slot two thirds of the depth. Inside of my hammer is an hourglass figure with a smaller side on the bottom, ever so slightly larger size. So if it's two and a half inches, I'm gonna go to one and five eighths, one and nine sixteenths for my depth. And I'm there now. I made my wedge from walnut. My belt grinder is two and a half inches uh, or two inches wide so that my taper is from my finished depth to almost nothing. I don't want it actually sharp to almost nothing over that two inches. So I'm going to mark my final depth of my slot because I don't want to actually keep pounding that into my wooden piece which may split my wood underneath. Some of the other details I took note of while I was making the hammer is which is the right hand side of my hammer in relation to which peens forward. So in this case, I know that this is the correct orientation, or at least the one I had on it for years. So start my hammer in there and finish tighten it up. You may even be able to hear it as it reaches and settles into the bottom. So now I can be ready to put in my wedge to its correct depth and no one to stop. In my case, I like to use polyurethane glue, not to join the wedge to it, but to keep it there. Sometimes the polyurethane glue gets on the steel and people have confused that with me trying to glue the handles to the steel. Nah, it's just a little bit of run over and it doesn't hurt anything. I haven't quite reached my mark yet, but I've encountered solid resistance, so I'm sure that it's filled the void. And there, I should be able to get a few more years out of that. I'll give it a quick sanding for any of the rough spots, cut my wedge off. I like the wood to slightly exceed the final height of the hammer, acts as a cleat. And that's how I uh, get another few years out of a good hammer handle. Thanks for watching.